Hey, what's up, you guys? You are chilling with your girl Sequoia on BE The Code, and we are here with special guests Matt and Warren from Toasted Life. How are you guys doing? Hey. hey. <laughs> what's up? Glad to be here. I'm super excited to have you guys on the show. You guys have been doing some crazy things up in the Bay. So tell me a little bit about Toasted Life. For sure. Yeah, I mean, what you want you want to go for it? It's a, it's a long story. Sequoia, you want to hear this full story? You want to hear like... Tell, Just, you tell me, like, right, however right. you want to break it up. Cool, cool. Um, so, so Moore, Warren and I, we actually went to school together in Atlanta. So we went to Morehouse College. Okay. And at Morehouse, there's, like, this sense of community. Okay. Right? A lot of it's around just the culture of the school, you know, music, lifestyle, that whole thing, right? Le- leadership, service. The whole thing. This can go on and on. Okay. Yeah, yeah. So, so we, we moved to the Bay, actually, several times. I came first. Warren came, I think, maybe a year later. Okay. Um, but when we were going out, we just felt like there was something missing. We okay. kind of felt like there really wasn't this sense of, like, camaraderie, uh, community. Uh, we also weren't really feeling the, the music at the time. No offense to Bay Area music. I mean, but coming coming from Atlanta, like, you know, it's, it's right, definitely the tough trap, to, with that the... transition. You know what I mean? We used to Lil John. Right. We used to, you know, Future and also we got to come and, you know, it's just, it just wasn't, it wasn't the vibe yeah. we were looking for. So. Okay. So what made you guys go, okay, I now want to start this, like, entertainment yeah. company in the Bay? Yeah. It was really a, it was really just a need, like Matt was saying, um, you know, didn't feel like inclusive uh, you know, being transplants, not being from the Bay. So we we're trying to like kind of connect more with our with our uh, our network in okay. really authentic ways. Um, so we just decided like, hey, you know, if it's, if something doesn't exist that we like, you know, we got to create it ourselves. Right. Um, and that was kind of what, what started the whole thing. So, you know, I just remember me and Matt, we were actually in Jack London Square. Uh-huh. Uh, we were just like talking, like brainstorming, like, you know, what can we do? Okay. And um Next thing I know, it was like kind of like I think the day after Super Bowl, and uh, we went over in Oakland to a to a venue and had a conversation, and uh, they gave us a shot. All right. And uh, yeah, we threw our first day party like probably like a month, a couple weeks or a month later, and um, talk about nervous. <laughs> <laughs> talk about nervous, you know. Right. Uh, it was it was crazy, but um, just that just being able to provide that opportunity for people to come out, um, people celebrate their birthdays with us, and. Um, you know, we just called it Toasted. And um, again, we didn't really necessarily know what we were doing, okay. but we just did it. And um, from there, like, just something started to unravel. That's dope. Uh, hey, go ahead. I was going to say, the funny thing about that story, too, it was like, I think it actually was Super Bowl, like literally the day of. Um, so, like, I stumbled upon this venue maybe the day before that, and I was like, yo, this venue's like right near my house. Like, how come I haven't been there, right? Okay. So Warren's like, let's go check it out, right? The game was over. We rolled through. And uh, this was the year of the power outage when Beyonce took the power out. Yeah. <laughs> Ravens and the Ravens and the 49ers. Niners. Yeah, exactly. that was yeah, four years ago. Uh, yeah. So we came into this venue and we're like, yo, this is a dope spot, right? We're like, yo, who's the owner? So we went up to this, the I think the waitress, and she's like, the owner's right there. We literally just wanted her to point out the, the owner, okay. right? But she's like, I'll go grab him. Grabs him, bring him, brings him back. And uh he's like, Yeah, how can I help you guys? And like literally, we just we weren't ready to like give him the pitch. <laughs> And then we're like, I look at one. We're like, wait, are we like we have to pitch like our? We're like, yeah, we right throw now. we throw house parties. <laughs> yeah, you know, we do this time. back back in Atlanta. It was lit. <laughs> yeah, so he literally brings us to this back room, and uh, close, you know, like intimidating club. Closes the door, brings his like uh, yeah, like, his uh, other owners. Like, what's going on? He's got a security guard in there too. We're like, oh crap. Uh-huh. It's like, what do you guys do? Like, tell me. And we're like, uh, we're just on the fly, just spitting out stuff, and like oh, and probably sounded hey. crazy. It was oh like, my gosh. Talk but about an interview, <laughs> yeah. But literally, he gave us the shot, and That's that was like dope. literally the moment that you know, like day one. So perfect. And you guys are both in tech, so you're at yeah. Apple and you're at YouTube. Yep. So then, did your audience become like this tech audience, or like where who was the people who came to this thing? I mean, I think it was a mix of of everyone. I mean, it wasn't until like our second event that we really started to realize that like this is something people were looking for. Um, and, you know, of course, we reached out to our, our friends and people from our companies and stuff like that that we worked that we worked for. Um, and like when we started to like connect with them, mm-hmm. we realized that like, oh, snap, such and such is working over at Twitter, such and such is over at Google. We got a whole like Google network that's coming through Facebook, you know, a bunch of a bunch of you know startups. And 
um, it wasn't necessarily just tech. I mean, there was people, you know, that are in grad school, you know, mm-hmm. people that are, you know, going after their law degree, you know, right. doctor's degrees and stuff like that. So we just realized like, okay, we got something special here and we just got to keep going and, and figure out what we really want to do. Awesome. So. And so with that, what made it start to grow and scale? How did you guys get to that point? Because now it's like a huge thing in the Bay. Everybody knows Toast of Life. <laughs> you, you, you want to talk about the, uh, the first night? night Day one? The, uh, we, the seller, how we just took over. <laughs> yeah. Uh, that's kind of, I think that's what did it. Okay. So it was funny. Like, again, we did our first event, right? And like people started coming up to us. They're like, yo, you guys do this every week, right? Or like, every week. Like, people want this every week. That was literally, you know, potentially a one off event, right? Mm. And I, we weren't going to even, even uh, like replicate it. Okay. Potentially, right? Um, so, like, yo, um, we want more of this, right? We started building an audience. We really started making sure that, like, getting back to the tech piece, mm-hmm. right? We knew that our audience was a reflection of us, right? right. Young professionals in yep. tech. We wanted to make an extension of that too. Um, but we really like went after and owned that niche, and people kind of like gravitated towards that, mm. right? And the cool thing was, a lot of people, maybe they're um, interning in the bay they moved they went back to the east coast they were talking about toasted life and we started scaling out naturally without even strategically doing it okay um but yeah just kind of blossomed from there so then where can because i know you're in the bay you've done L- la where else have you guys scaled to yeah chicago oh dope. Chicago, yeah okay we've, done, we've actually done a lot of a lot of events in chicago started last year um around march um so this is our gonna be our second second year in chicago okay. um it's really like a very very great community to be a part of out there okay um you know they kind of have a similar situation where they're very uh their com- their neighborhoods are very segregated in a sense of um kind of distance mm, and the okay. young the young professional crowd um they're just dispersed okay so kind of being a central hub for um kind of a, a new flavor of entertainment has right. been refreshing i know for people there and you know it's been exciting for us to like just like experiment and see what sticks what doesn't stick as we continue to go to different cities so you know we're actually thinking about uh um you know new york we got something lined up in in, in march Uh, so you know we're just you know again like being intentional about what we want to do okay and making sure that the community that is engaging with us is like you know we have their back um from jump and you know like they'll like they've always had our back so you know just continue to connect all everybody together perfect Mm -hmm. and so being at apple and youtube your diversity and inclusion Mm -hmm. and then your partnerships partnerships how do you balance the two because those are not like fly by night jobs so how are you balancing this massive like events company and then having like real tech jobs i mean for me it's um it's diligence trying to you know um find opportunities where you know, you're not getting bogged down in the process in both situations. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, and honestly, sometimes it's a challenge. You know, sometimes you sleep less. <laughs> I feel that. Um, you know, especially when things are coming down to the wire. Uh, but, you know, again, if it's something that you love and you're passionate about, you know, sometimes it doesn't feel like work. Okay. And, you know, um, like, like I said, I just... Uh, I try to I try to keep my <laughs> my head above water as much as <laughs> as much as possible and just make sure that I'm I'm managing my deliverables and being realistic okay. with, with what I can deliver. Okay. With. So that's you know that's where people get caught up. You know you try to do too much mm-hmm. and then you end up you know you, you end up drowning. So um, that's something me and Matt kind of discuss in terms of like our to dos and like okay you know what do we want to focus on this week? What are we doing this month? And as long as we kind of have a a very very stringent timeline and you know a plan kind of helps me for sure okay yeah and it's helpful just to have a co-founder in general right Right. Um, yeah i think with any business and you were kind of reflecting on this like earlier like i mean you look at a lot of the like the largest companies in the world right a lot of them had at least two people right whether it's the like procter and gambles Mm -hmm. or you know the ben and jerry's right like literally you just even that's within great. their name. That's great, right? <laughs> that's really <laughs> nice. You know, Ben and Jerry's top of the ice cream uh, pyramid there. But um, I think, you know, it definitely, when it comes to strengths and like where they overlap, you know, that synergy, but also like being able to unload when you have too much work to like your, your co-founder, right? And uh, we always have each other's back, but yeah. it's, a, it's a team effort. And, you know, I think finding people that are also interested in supporting us mm. has been a very... Um, very valuable process, even in our like leadership styles and growing in that space of <clears throat> being co-founders and, you know, thinking about where we want to take the company, you know, we have to be able to grow 
we can't do it alone, right? You know right. And so um, to go the way that we want to go, we realize that, um, you know, we need to bring people in. So uh, that's been a great process. And there's people that like have our back and, you know, we call on when we need certain things. And that's really helped even out the workload as well. Perfect. And with that being said, when do you guys think it's time to like back away from the real jobs and like take this full time? Or like, where do you guys see this going? <laughs> Sounds like a setup right here. I know, right? I know. Got the camera rolling. I know, I know, like, I know. Let's just let's uh, put this on YouTube where I work <laughs> and uh, put me on the spot. No, I'm just kidding. Um, honestly, I, I think we want to make sure that whenever we see a ceiling in either, not a ceiling, in terms of like, you know, I can't progress at my YouTube role because I'm doing this other thing, mm -hmm. or I can't. Pro we can't progress in, in the Tulsa, Tulsa life side of things because of our other full time role. Um, I think we need to make sure, need to evaluate that, right? Okay. But as long as we're still progressing in both, then I think it makes sense to to pursue both. But um, I think long term, we you know definitely considering going the Tulsa life route. Um, <laughs> but I think we'll figure out when. Yeah, I mean, I think, you know, currently um, it's been like this for a while, but, you know, one, they both support each other right. in, in some interesting way. So yeah. I mean, when the point comes where like one no longer serves the other, I mean, mm -hmm. you know, of course I, you know, want to take my baby to the, <laughs> you know, see it grow. Right. Yeah. You know, so, um, you know, I think it's it, it really comes down to a feeling. OK. And, you know, you take a measurement of the environment that you're in and what makes the most sense for you and. That's kind of how I know I'm going to approach it. And, you know, as long as uh, me and Matt are continuing to communicate on what's best, I know that he has my back and saying, my guy's back too, so. Oh, okay. We're going to play a game. All right, let's uh, do it. So you guys heard of Cards Against Humanity? Mm -hmm. okay. I've been played personally, though. Oh, my gosh. Okay, it's so much fun. So there is a tech version uh -oh. that I pulled offline. So this is how you play. I'm going to read a card. And what's going to happen is you're going to say like what you like the word that you think best describes it. Right. And then we will vote like as a threesome. OK. <laughs> we will vote as to who won that. Okay. All right. But we're going to do it as a speed round. So it's going to happen really fast. So you're not going to have a lot of time to think uh, about it. You just have to say what it is. Uh, right? Shout out at the same time or. No. So we'll go okay. in a circle. So I'll go first. You yeah. go. Then you go. And then we'll cool. say, OK, that was you. You. OK. All right. So we're just saying the word that based off of what you. Exactly. That's be like one word. Literally. It can't just be like. A, no. All right. OK. I mean, it could be a phrase, but like not like a long situation. All right. So here we go. Ready? I'm going to time it. Matt over here nervous. He's sweating. <laughs> he don't know, what, he don't know what's happening. Okay. <clears throat> Hold on. Stop watching. All right. So we're going to go for three minutes. All right. Let's do it. All right. Are these vetted questions? Have you? All right. No, I, 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 I've not even read them. Okay. So ready and go. What's my startup disrupting? <laughs> Wait, what? Oh. Wait, what? Answer, what, is is your, what is your startup disrupting? Oh, uh, community. What is your startup disrupting? Creativity. <laughs> <laughs> I have more time to answer that. I, cat. The worst that's, that's the last time. All right. It's disrupting the cat market. Oh, oh my right. goodness. So they have to be like crazy. So that's, uh, that's like a test round. Okay. Uh, they have to be like crazy outlandish answers, right? Okay. So, all right. All right. All right. We're going to do it again. All right. All right. So... What's my startup disrupting? <laughs> Peace. Peace. Got it. Go. So I don't know. Club game. Club game. Okay. Club game. I'm going to go with, uh, I don't know, cats again. Damn. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Take it back. Okay, I'm like, what? she's going to use cats literally for everyone. No, no. Who do you think won? Uh, you definitely won. I won? So, I mean, there's like a hierarchy, like on the creator side, you won. Okay. Cats, period. All right. Me. Okay. I mean, cool. Next. Everyone loves cats, right? <laughs> so, so, I think. Because of my investment in Bitcoin, soon I'll be able to afford. Oh, hopping out that new Bugatti. I want that jet. That PJ. <laughs> Private jet. Um, Cheetos. Cheetos. <laughs> Damn. Come on, Steve. We, we, we losing. 
<laughs> no, she. Come on, we talking she, about cars, planes. Right, right. And she just wants snacks. She just want little <laughs> snacks. Got the there. munchies. Like flaming hot Cheetos. Or are we talking like standard you Cheetos? You know, I just seen this picture. They got a, uh, they got a, a, a hot Cheetos. Wait, picture. we're running out of time. Oh, my bad. You only have three Follow minutes question. to okay. one. All right. Um, I think I think I got that one. You think you you can't yeah, vote for yourself? <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna give it to Matt. You know, Matt. Yeah. Okay. Private jet sound nice. I'm gonna give cool. it to you too, Matt. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Thanks to the sharing economy, I can now make money renting out my. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I say shoes. Go. Um, my snack, my my snack cabinet. Okay. My pantry. My fridge. Okay. Who what? <laughs> Snack pantry, man. but I've seen his snack pantry. His okay, snack. you know what it is. Snack okay, pantry. I'm gonna go with Ward. Okay, right. one minute left. The inspiration for my startup is Kanye. <laughs> what is it? Love. I love that. Yeah. Um, oh my god, yo, that is so weak. <laughs> Peace. There you go. Who won that? I feel like she kind of like. Took mine a little bit. <laughs> right. 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 I certainly Come did. On. Our prop before she went. So I think I got to win. I'm going to go with Kanye, though. I think Thank that's you. hilarious. Thank okay. So who do you think? I'll give it to this guy. Okay. Warren. Easy, okay. Easy season. One more. My company was just acquired by okay. <laughs> Barack Obama. Okay. Um, Gatorade. Uh, Nike. Mm. Who won right, that? I won that clearly. Yeah, you did. Best president ever. All right. All right. Okay, time. Good job, you guys. Go. <laughs> so, Warren, you won all of them. <sighs> I mean, I got one, you got one, and Warren got three. Got you. I'm not surprised. See some favoritism <laughs> over here. <today. laughs> hey, cool. So, how can people find you guys? Um, you know, we're everywhere. <laughs> no, I'm just playing. I'm just playing. I'm just playing. Absolutely. Uh, <laughs> um, popping up in a city near you, but you know, you can find us uh, toastedlife.com. Um, Instagram to- at Toasted Life, uh, Facebook, Facebook.com slash Toasted Parties. Um, we're in the we're in the Twitter sphere a little bit. Yep, that Toasted Life though. Okay. On Twitter. Perfect. Um, really interesting thing though. Obviously, we're scaling out, so we're going to different cities. Mm-hmm. That doesn't exclude international cities. Okay. So uh, right now we're, we're kind of being scrappy with our database, trying to figure out where's the interest right now, and looks like we might be going abroad. All right. Well, we will look out for that. Yeah. All right. It's Sequoia with Matt and Warren from Toast of Life on BE The Code. Thanks, guys. Thank you. Hey. hey. Peace.